वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वोल्टेज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग इन दिस वीडियो एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड वोल्टेज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू बेजिक्स ऑफ वोल्टेज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट वोल्टेज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग एज अ सर्किट इन सीमॉस देन एट लास्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ दैट सर्किट फंक्शंस along with voltage boot strapping in cmos so first of all one should know what is voltage boot strapping see a voltage boot strapping that is a method to eliminate threshold voltage drops across mosfet so by using voltage boot strapping we eliminate threshold voltage drops across mosfet so here our prime agenda is to avoid that threshold voltage drop that happens across mosfet and why do we do this the reason is output voltage may suffer due to threshold voltage drops in many circuit structure and that will not allow output voltage swing from 0 to vdd for logic 0 and logic 1 so sometimes you will be finding your output voltage swing that is not happening from 0 to vdd for logic 0 to logic 1 because of threshold voltage drop which happens in cmos structure so if you avoid that threshold voltage drop across cmos structure in that case you can increase your output voltage swing to 0 to vdd and if you have highest voltage swing from 0 to vdd you have highest noise margin so that's why we provide voltage boot strapping to avoid threshold voltage drop across mosfet so to have highest voltage swing at output side from 0 to vdd we will be providing voltage boot strapping now here i'll explain you one example in which how we provide voltage boot strapping that we will see step by step right so here let me explain you one circuit first so here we have cmos circuit in that we have power supply vdd then we have one nmos transistor let us say m1 to which we give input vx and here we have second nmos transistor to which we give input v in and here we have ground and this is my output v0 now see if i want to calculate what is my highest output voltage then all we need to do is we need to provide vx is equals to vdd and v in is equals to 0 so what will happen you see if vx is equals to vdd and v in that is equals to 0 so in that case you can say m1 that will be on and m2 that will be off so because of that your output voltage v0 that will be maximum and that will be vdd minus vt n1 so here as m1 is on there will be threshold voltage drop that will happen so v0 that will be vdd minus vt n1 so your output voltage that is not reaching to vdd but instead of that it will be somewhat lower by threshold voltage so how to avoid that for that we provide voltage boot strapping so see in same circuit i'll explain you how to provide voltage boot strapping so here we have vdd after that here we have m1 transistor and here our agenda is to avoid that m1 transistors voltage drop so see with respect to gate here we connect that boot strapping capacitance cb practically we don't connect any capacitor that we have it by another transistor connection so that transistor connection will be like this you see here additionally we connect m3 and this m3 that is what we are connecting like this so gate is connected with vdd 
and that will be forming CB over here and CS over here. Right. So technically we just connect M3 and because of that there is CS and CB capacitance formation as per this circuit and this will be my VX voltage terminal. Right. And after that you see here we have output and then here we have M2 to which we give input V in and then here we have ground. So that is how circuit is there. So this is our voltage boot strapping circuit. Right. And to realize practically this circuit all we need to do is boot strapping capacitance that we can form it by one another way you see I am forming that. See here I have shown CS and CB that is there because of M3 right but here CB and CS that we are not connecting that is happening because of resultant of M3 and M1 right. So later on I will explain you that but how to form this CB capacitance so for that practical realization that I am going to show you. You see here we have M1 then here we connect M3 and here we will be connecting one more additional M4 and that is what we will be shorting out over here and base is connected over here. So this will be M4 which will be resulting into CB. So that is how practically we can realize boot strapping capacitance CB and here we can have output voltage. So this is my M2 and to which we give V in input voltage and this will be our Vx terminal. Right. So this is how one more circuit that can be there for voltage boot strapping. Here I have not shown uh, this CS and CB but that is already there. This CB that is there because of this M4 and CS that is there because of resultant of M3 and M1. Right. So that is how resultant circuit connection that is this only but here to form CB we have connected M4. Right. Now let me explain you the basic resultant understanding of this capacitance CS and CB. So see here CS is a parallel combination of substrate to source capacitance of M3 and substrate to gate capacitance of M1. So you see CS that is a parallel combination of substrate to source capacitance of M3 and substrate to gate capacitance of M1 and here this CB is a capacitance in between Vx and V0 terminal. Now here we design this voltage boot strapping circuit in such a way that this CB that is way greater than CS. So here our agenda should be CB should be very greater than CS. So that is how the basic circuit formation that we have. This is practical realization of voltage boot strapping and this is what resultant circuit of voltage boot strapping. Right. Now let us try to understand how this circuit functions. So to understand its working let us consider case 1 in that if we have V in that is equals to logic 1 then what will happen? So if V in that is equals to logic 1 this M2 that will get on and M2 is on means this V0 that will get ground so our output voltage V0 that will be ground means it will be 0 voltage. Now let us consider case 2. So in case 2 we will be considering V in is equals to logic 0. So as V in is equals to logic 0 this M2 that will get off 
and as m2 that is off here this terminal output voltage v0 that will start to increase based on the coupling of voltage across cb and cs and as cb is very greater than cs you will you can say our output voltage that will be reaching to vdd right so v0 that will be vdd as cb is very greater than cs so this is how this basic circuit functions i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you so much for watching this video